Hey, what's up everyone? Mendel here. I hope you are all doing awesome and wonderful. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can spice up your drums by using the Razer plugin in Cubase 12. So as always, let's dig right in. Here we go. All right, so as always, here we are in Cubase. So what I've done here is the following. So I have the Razer plugin as parallel on my shells bus. So what goes to my shell bus, you may ask. So I have like kick, snare, snare sample, snare bottom, and all my toms go into the shells bus. And then as a send, I have the uh, parallel compression on the Razer, which is this one, the yellow one here. And I have it on pre-fader, so the volume of my shells not won't affect the amount of compression. Let's first listen to a bit of music without Razor. So here we go. All right, so that sounds pretty cool and pretty heavy. And now let's go to the Razer plugin. So again, my Shells bus uh, sends this as an effect send to the Razer, which is over here. And I have set Razer so that it really, really slams the drums. The thing I'm aiming for is the following. So you have those loud peaks and then everything that's like below it. And Razer is slamming those loud peaks, like everything crushing down. So it becomes this really almost noisy, like, transient less like impact and that is what i'm going to use to blend in with my drums so i'll loop this section i have only the shell soloed and of course razors on here and i'll up the fader and listen very close to what happens to the shells So you can really hear that the softer parts of the snare get slammed and crushed. And that's what I'm like blending in together with the rest of the kit. But really the snare drum is one of my main things that I love with the Razer plugin. So again, I'm gonna blend it in, but then also turn it down and like a couple times so you can hear the difference. So hopefully you can also feel what's really important that it makes the drums sound bigger. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna listen to it in context. I'm just gonna loop this section with the whole mix and then blend it in. So if we're used in the mix, I would probably put it around minus five in this mix. Really cool. Now, just for fun, let's also try it on the full drum kit. So over here, you see Razer Parrot Kit, which is basically the whole drum kit in parallel compression to Razer. So you can see over here, I have an effect send over here, sending it to Razer. Let's loop that same section and just see what it does. Now, 
Now, something really cool happens to my ear. So, the cymbals that were beforehand a bit too brittly, it almost sounds they get warmer and they get more cohesive together with the kit. Again. It's almost like the kit gets a bit more punchier and warmer at the same time. So let's try it in the mix. I think for this mix, having it around minus 15, minus 40 dB is enough. Like I can hear the cymbals become a bit more warmer. The, there's a certain mid punch that I really like on the snare and the kick drum also gets this almost upper mid punch. So one more time. And just to double check, let's track it from the beginning. Yeah, so I really like how that sounds. It makes the kit sound a bit more cohesive and a bit more impactful. I really love that feel of the kit. So make sure you check it out. The Razer plugin, awesome for drums in my opinion. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And until then, see you next time. Cheers.